I don't know, should I do this? I think he's crazy. at the salamander pond we were able to see a couple little baby salamanders that are actually already starting and it's really cool to see them here you saw them let's go sitting up close to the lake itself you're able to get a close view of the salamanders and the little baby adventure guys what do you think of this area um i think it's really cool it kind of reminds me of the everglades in florida there's lots of cactus where do we see cactus carolina everywhere i remember fishing cactus in arizona So Arabia Mountain, especially this area, is an abandoned rock quarry where they used to do a lot of mining. And the type of rock that we can find here, the type of granite, is really special and can only be found in three locations around the United States. One of them being right here, and then two of the other ones being really close by at Stone Mountain and Paonia Mountain. So Arabia Mountain is definitely not what I expected upon first driving up. We're used to Colorado and 14,000 foot peaks being defined as mountains, and here it's relatively flat. A lot of people coming here for hiking and biking, and when you pull up to the Nature Preserve Center, it seems extremely flat and I was wondering where's the mountain but once you start hiking back through the forest through the pass and get off into the rock quarry and the salamander lake and get back into here into the old mined quarry which is now abandoned there's nothing absolutely like this in the rest of the state of Georgia so let's get on over and find the next geocache inside of the quarry It's really hot. It's definitely hotter here down in the valley. You still feel the cool breeze of the fall here. We're kind of just pumps from the water. There's a salamander under here. You guys want to see a salamander? I. Do you see him right underneath there? Do you see him? Yeah. You see him straight underneath? Do you want to see the salamander? I found the geocache. Yeah. It was underneath the big rock. Okay, so I'm gonna open it. There's two caps. Two caps. How do you open this one? Leave a couple stickers right on top. 
Yeah. Our national bench. Are we bench. gonna keep it? Let's put our stickers in there. And Wanna go hide, hide it for the next people? Go hide it back. Go put it back. Yeah. Let's go hide it for the next people to find, guys. Okay. I know where to put it back. Put your shoe back on, Chloe. Yeah! Yeah! Are you ready to go? Yeah. You want to go get the last geocache? Yeah. We're going to go get the very last geocache. Ready? Let's go, Let's go. Chloe! For the very last geocache, I am going to hand over our trusty phone that has the GPS locator and the geocache.com app to Kiara as she takes us the last quarter mile into this geocache. I don't know, should I do this? I think we should. I think he's crazy. Leaving a kid with his phone. <laughs> okay, here you go, Kiara. Lead us on in. I promised her that she could lead us on into the last one. It's probably just less than a quarter mile away, straight dead ahead. What could go wrong? So if I turn it this way, it's pointing. Over there. That way? Look guys, there's a building over there. Do there it is. Maybe it's that there? way. You're right. So far, it seems like a wild goose chase to me. We're trying to figure out which way is due towards the actual cache location. We've gone in a full 360. I like that. What'd you find? Yeah. Is that a daisy? So, geocaching really is just uh, to make these hikes kind of fun for the kids doing something outdoors. It gives them a purpose other than just uh, getting from point A to point B. And, you know, a lot of us adults, we like to see nature and the things around us, but geocaching gives us like the kids a purpose and activity something to be excited about it gives them a few skills i think too about problem solving and looking at locations and points and trying to figure out riddles it makes it kind of a lot of fun all right i think we're getting close less than 100 feet now until we get this geocache. Let's read the hint. Under a large rock. So we are at a former Wiccan village religious site here in Mount Arabia. And this is the location of the last geocache. So 70 feet away. Go well, that way. That one? All right, straight ahead. Okay. I think we need to get down first. Let's go down okay. the uh, easy way, down this. Just trying to lead them the right way. Sometimes it's hard to keep all the kids together. Of course, one wants to run ahead, one slower wants to keep behind, and I'm just trying to be the happy medium. Under a large rock. Let's see if I get the last one before the kids do. So the good thing about this app and the phone is that it vibrates when you get within the 30 foot radius of the, of the actual cache, so we're close. Six feet. Oh my gosh, we're six feet away, eight feet away. Oh my gosh, guys, we're super close. Let's find this. Find Seven it. feet. My dad might find this before me. It's right underneath you. What? You it's found right it? underneath you. It's right underneath me? It's right underneath you. What? It's right underneath you. What? It's right underneath you. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. Let's uh, bring it over to Carolina here. I found something that somebody made. Looks like a popsicle stick. Yeah? I found, and I found so this, and I found this. What did you find? And the Megman. We found lots of toys. Star. A, this cool. You some neat things. Oh, a rubber ducky. And, and there's this little mini fairy tattoo. Fairy tattoo. So what we like to do when we find geocaches is we've got a couple of our National Adventure stickers that we like to stick inside there as well as when we sign the log. So we'll let each of you guys stick a final sticker inside of here. And we are gonna call it a day. 
on this geocaching adventure. I just put it back. We're not showing you guys because we want it to be a surprise for you, for you guys too. Having fun in nature. So, why? Because. Do we like to do fun adventures as a family? Yes, and I love to learn new experience. You gonna go night night? You gonna go night night? Night night. Night night. Aww. Night night, Chloe. Yeah. It's the middle of the afternoon, and I think we probably have hit our stride for the day. Say bye bye, Chloe. Bye, guys. Bye.